Okay, so this trick is using Blender 4.1 and the idea here is to create a separate collection and then use that collection inside the, uh, the line art modifier, okay? So we create a line art in the scene, shift A, grease pencil, and then do a collection line art. This is important. The second requirement is that your eyes mesh or your uh, specific eye meshes are separated, okay? So in this case, you see that I have these eyebrows plus the eyelashes and the eyes all together for this collection inside the eyes collection. So with those two things in mind, uh, you will see your, your line art modifier, okay? It's right there. And there are a couple of things that you need to do. First of all, we need to tell the line art modifier that we want this um, material or this mesh right here to be kind of transparent. And for that, we're going to select the material that you're going to be uh, wanting to be transparent in this case. And you come all the way down here where it says line art. And you can see that right here, I have the level one set as it is right now. If this was in zero, then we will not get the effect. But in this case, it's set to line art one. And that's all you need to do for this material. Now, the thing here with the eyes is that they are also within the level one line art masks but the difference here is that when you click on the line art you need to tell it that you're going to be using those layers to create the transparency so this is how it works so this is the entire modifier you can see it right there and the collection in this case is targeting the eyes so this is mostly like really you know once you create that, it automatically fills everything up. You can even decide the opacity for, for those things. In my case, I just leave it right there. And the line thickness, depending on the model size, you can choose your thickness to be 1, 5, in my case it's 26. And here is the important thing. Where it says occlusion, right here, all I did was to put this in range. Let me just put this in range of the level start 2 and end 4. The way this was explained and the actual uh, help guide in Blender's website does not help really a lot. So this was mostly trial and error. I started on, a, uh, on level 2 transparency and end in level 4 transparency. And also you would like to check material masks and create this exact match. This is how I made this hair um, or rather the eyelashes to be on top of the hair. Now don't forget that this line artwork or line art modifier works in the camera angle so make sure please make sure that you're working on your camera view for this to to happen correctly okay so that's very important make sure that you're on the camera view to make this work now of course we can modulate this even more but this is a vanilla blender version so if you install it and run it and then do a line art and then mark those um, occlusion parameters two and four then you would get something similar to this and if you don't, please let me know because I am willing to help you. The user guide for this was a total wreck. And the, the few videos that I found out uh, from the developers did not help either. So this was mostly trial and error for me. And this is another important uh, thing for the parameters. Uh, you see right here that I have for uh, creating lines in the contour. 
the threshold is decreased to 64 because this is usually somewhere right right there on, at 128 uh, but I decrease it to 64 and you can also do other things like marking uh, freestyle edges and this will recognize it but since we're using this specifically for the eye case this is how I managed to break it down and it works so if I was to animate this we could see the eyelashes and the eyelids going through the hair normally the third and last thing I want you to remember or um, to experiment with is her face if you select the face of your character you should make sure that your material which in my case is face we scroll all the way down here again we come here into line art this is important please mark material mask okay and mark this first um, box right here and then you're going to tell it this is going to have three different levels to describe or to create the layer transparency for this material okay so let's review once again number one create a collection put your eyelashes and eyelids and eyes eye pupils in there since this is a single object everything goes in there second create a line art modifier for the collection that is done by shift a grease pencil collection line art and then you can target your uh, collection which in my case is eyes then you can fiddle with the line thickness and the line opacity from there the edge types are set to contour and 64 degrees for the threshold then you come down here to occlusion activate range use 2 and 4 and activate material mask with exact match because we want to assign the head or the face the actual face where it says material line art material mask the first slot and then level 3 again if you have any questions please don't forget to type them in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to help you with this I have not changed my blender version I know that there are some good things coming in Blender 4.3, but as of now, as I mentioned before, I am not willing to give up or change uh, from Blender 4.1 since this is a stable version for Eevee. And instead, I have been working with Unreal Engine and everything that Unreal Engine has to offer us in terms of NPR rendering, which I am so happy to announce. Uh, I have good news in regards of that. Thank you very much.